Hi, Wayne Chapin from Zerillion here. This video is about securing your files in Microsoft 365. And I'm going to be showing you in a few minutes with a demo how you can secure your files even if they were illegally copied, stolen, or even sent to the wrong people. So first I'm going to talk about the traditional approach to IT. We all know it. It's been going on for decades. We take a shared folder, we create an Active Directory security group, and then we apply the security group to the shared folder. And then we add or remove users to the security group to protect access to the folder. But there's a problem with it. There's no protection for files when they're outside the folder. So now in 2018, people are working remote, they're working from home, people are working overseas. Uh, new companies, they don't sit with a centralized file server at their office. Everything's up in the cloud. And we got to protect that data from USB drives, Google drives, Dropbox. So how do we do it in a modern workplace? So one of the ways we're not going to protect the document is by using a password uh, that's lame. So we've all done it. Uh, people, when they're not completely comfortable with the security on their IT infrastructure, uh, they will take a password and apply it to the Excel spreadsheet or the Word document and protect it that way. And it's such a problem because if you lose the password, forget it. Uh, you're not going to be able to get in that document. If you have to share with multiple people, you really don't have a security system anymore. So that's not what I'm talking about. So what if we could take the concept of applying a password to the document, which we've all done, and we could take the concept of a security group, which what is what IT people put on folders, we could kind of marry them together. Well, that's what we do with the technology that I'm about to show you here. Instead of putting a password into the file, we're going to click a button and apply the security group to the file. And that security is going to stay with that file no matter where in the world it goes, no matter who has it. We're not going to need a VPN, we're not going to need a file server, and we do not need a domain controller. Hallelujah. That technology is Azure Information Protection. It blends Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Rights Management Service, the cloud service, and SharePoint Online. So now I'm going to show you a demo of what that looks like. Hold on to your seats because it's really simple and straightforward. So I'm going to demonstrate this inside of PowerPoint, but it works the same for Excel, works the same for Word, works the same for Outlook. So right up here we have the, this, this is actually an app, this bar, okay? This is the Azure Information Protection Viewer app. So right now we have a policy uh, sensitivity level of general. So now I'm going to hover over this label. I've got the, the sensitivity label set to general. This is a classification and I'm wary about referring to this as a classification security policy. Some of you watching this may have a classification, a formal classification policy in your company. Most of you don't. I don't want to freak anybody out thinking this is something they've got to put in place because they don't. So now I'm going to demonstrate Azure information protection right in this PowerPoint slide that I've made up for this video. The thing to understand about this is that it works the same whether you're in Excel, Word, or Outlook. So over here I have a classification policy, it's general, and if I hover over that it just says general classification means uh, the data is not intended for public consumption, however this can be shared with external partners as required. Fine. That's our default. Everything's set to that. So it's just a classification. There is no security tied to this classification. But if I click the little pencil icon, boom, all of a sudden these little buttons pop up over here. And this is where it gets really simple and straightforward. So there's general, there's confidential, and there's confidential secured. Now if I drop this down, these are effectively security groups. Here's Zerillion, and this says only employees of Zerillion have access to this document or email. Here's accounting, only members of the accounting group have access to this document or email. Finance, you get the idea. So there's a finance group, HR, legal, sales, and I can even set up custom permissions. But here's where the beauty of this is. Let's say this document is an important document. We're measuring and analyzing profit and loss of products we sell in the company. That's confidential information. That's probably something that only the finance group has access to. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. It's in finance. Now it says confidential secured finance. And then if I hover over it, secured. Only members of the finance group can access this data. And once I click save, that's it. This document's secured. Only people who are in the finance group are going to see this. And I can line that up exactly here in 
my Windows File Explorer. So we use SharePoint document libraries. More specifically, we use Teams files, but that's a whole other conversation. But in here, you can see right now, I've got you know the accounting folder, finance, HR, legal, marketing, sales. And here in that finance folder, I have a bunch of sensitive finance documents. So we certainly wanna protect access to that finance folder so people can't just go in there and do whatever they want. We also want to protect if those documents are outside the finance folder. So we very simply do that by just by going ahead and clicking on the finance group and then securing that document. And that's it. So that is what we do here. Now, let me show you as well. If I go in here and if I, I can change this to general, if I want to go back, now it's going to prompt me and it's going to say, well, okay, you're lowering the, the security. I want to record why you're doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm making a video confirm and now it sets it to general okay so now i've taken the security away so now let's go back to our powerpoint a couple things you might be wondering uh, what happens when the file is copied to a usb drive or dropbox well if the account is active and the user has permissions to the security group the user can still access it now can you set restrictions if you want about where people can actually put files on devices Absolutely, and that gets into conditional access using Microsoft Intune and Azure Active Directory. That's a whole other separate video. But this one just says, I wanna protect the documents no matter where they go. So if the person does copy it to a thumb drive, if they do copy it to a Google Drive or Dropbox, they still will be able to access it if that person has an active account and they're part of that security group. Then the question is, what happens when the employee leaves the company? Well, the account will be disabled and then they're gonna lose access. Which probably brings up the next question you're wondering, what happens if I lose my internet connection? It's got to connect to the Microsoft Rights Management Service, right? You're absolutely right. But in the protection policy, you can specify if you want to give users a certain number of offline access days. So how many days would you go before the system absolutely has to check to make sure that user is still active and they still have rights to that file? A very common one is seven days or 14 days. But you may have something that's so secure, it doesn't matter. Every time that document is accessed, it has to be able to connect to the Microsoft Rights Management Service and verify the user is active and they still have permissions to access that file. Then another reasonable question would be, does it just work with Microsoft Office documents or does it work with PDF files? And I'm happy to tell you, it works with PDF files too. And so here's some of the restrictions that you can apply. You can not just set a security group, but you can specify whether one or more security groups has just view only access, copy access, edit, print. Uh, if it's an email, you can specify whether they can forward, reply, or reply all. You can specify whether a user or group has the ability to change permissions. And if they change permissions, do you prompt them to request the reason so you can log that for security? You can even set a security policy that has an expiration. So you might apply a security group and say, if we apply it, that security group has access for 30 days and then it resets. They lose their security. And if they need security again, then you'd have to reapply it again. So these permissions give you a lot more flexibility than you would have on a traditional file server, shared folder type environment. So some interesting scenarios would be, you could save the file to the wrong folder, it doesn't matter. Literally, if you have a sensitive HR file and you end up saving it in the sales folder, it doesn't matter because only the people in the HR group would be able to see it, even if you put it in the wrong place. You can email the files to the wrong people. So again, you could email the sensitive HR document that you secured using Azure Information Protection and email it to the entire staff, but only the members of the HR department are gonna be able to see the document. And I've tested that and it works beautifully. And if you disable a user's account, they're gonna lose access even if they made illegal copies of the data somewhere else, which is very nice and reassuring. And so here's the Microsoft subscriptions you need. Microsoft 365 Enterprise E3 or E5, that's what we install almost 100% of the time now. Um, you could go down to just EMS E3 or E5, which stands for Enterprise Mobility and Security. But if you're doing that, I would just say, let's just have a conversation around Microsoft 365 Enterprise. And you could do Azure Information Protection a la carte, but again, Microsoft 365 Enterprise E3 and E5 are complete total enterprise solutions. You can't build anything like this on premises. So if we want to do it right, Wayne's pick of the day is going to be Microsoft 365 Enterprise E3 or E5, but these are the options for you if you want to use Azure Information Protection. So if you'd like to schedule a call, uh, talk to our team, maybe talk to me, you can reach out at support at zerillion.com. You can call us 847-995-9800, or you can go to our website, check us out there, check us out on YouTube, uh, go to our contact us page. Uh, we're a Microsoft Multi-Gold cloud provider. We're a Microsoft Tier 1 cloud solutions provider. 
were endorsed by Microsoft on their website. And I will put that link in the description here. And Microsoft Enterprise Cloud is all we do. And it's an incredible technology. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you in the next one.